Hey guys, what's up? It's Minori. So today I am going to be doing a challenge. Today I will be decorating this wall. If you guys know me, I'm from Japan. I'm living in Japan. Believe me, this wall is quite big for a Japanese room. This is my bedroom and I want to decorate it. So I thought to myself, what to turn this wall into? Well, my speciality in art is manga style. And I like Sailor Moon. I mean, I like a lot of stuff. I like Disney, I like Pokemon, but Sailor Moon always had a special place in my heart. She is my hero. She's a badass girl who doesn't need a man, and that's what I want to be. But anyways, yeah, this canvas is pretty big. I don't know how long it's gonna take, so let's get started. A Sailor Moon manga wall challenge. Well, first off first, I'm going to be coating my wall with this wallpaper. I mean, this is an apartment that I'm renting. I'm sure I would get a lot of complaints if I just draw on this wall. It's just like a sticker where I could peel it and stick it on. By the way, I'm four foot nine or 10. I'm small. Now we're just gonna use this cutter cut along the lines. You should be able to peel it right off like so. And this is how you put on wall sheets. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. I'm joking. This is going to be a long video. So I went onto the internet to find some pages that I want to recreate onto this wall and there's a lot. I think I found two pages that I want to recreate the most. And let the challenge begin. Hey, it's me. I just want to say that while I'm trying to copy the original style, it's not going to be completely the same because, let's be real, I'm not the author. I'm going to add in a twist of my own style as always, so it's not going to be perfect. I also chose random panels from random pages and kind of put them together. I was like, I want this scene, but I also want this other scene from a different page. And then I thought, why not put both? Now, I get to see a very beautiful, happy couple kissing right beside me while I'm sleeping alone at night. Splendid, isn't it? Okay, after a few hours, I think I'm done with the rough draft. Let's get closer up. So on the very right, we have a very long panel. I don't know if you guys can see this because the lines are really thin. And then on to the left, we have Sailor Moon with like three quarters of her body. It ends around her thighs. She's yelling something like, I am Sailor Moon, or something like that. <laughs> and then on to the left, we have a romantic scene. So these two scenes are actually not connected. I just wanted to put both of them together. Here we have Sailor Moon again, and then Mamocha. <laughs> Tuxedo mask without a mask. And then on to the bottom, their kissing scene. If you know Sailor Moon, you've probably seen this scene before. It's a really popular, famous scene where she's kind of sleeping and he's holding her and kissing her. I decided not to do anything on the bottom. I usually have a desk right here and it's gonna cover up anyways. I just don't see a reason to fill this part in if it's going to be covered up in the end. I have three markers here. I have a Posca paint pen, a Sharpie, and a Japanese Sharpie. I guess I'm going to try out all three of these to see which one works best. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. I think I like the Posca paint pen the most. It kind of bleeds because it's so juicy. Well, I guess it depends on where I want to draw. I'll be using both. So since this is going to take a very long time, let's get the music started. My phone's running out of batteries, and yes, it's 2 in the morning. Whoa! Whoops!
after a very long day, I noticed I couldn't even stand straight up. So, I went to sleep. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. I woke up, I slapped some makeup on, and let's get started because there's a long way to go. Oh my god. And onto this side we go. While I'm doing the left side, I want to point out this huge flaw on the right side. Like, look at her bun. Oh my god. The right side is unbelievably big. Sailor Moon on the panel on the right is like 20 times bigger than the one in the middle, but the bun size barely changes. Anyways, back to the left side. I think I was able to copy the original style for these panels. I noticed that they have an unusually large chin. <laughs> it's okay, they still cute. Now the outlining is done, it's time to erase the pencil marks. So let me get my eraser. Where's my eraser? Here it is! It's my eraser! <laughs> this works surprisingly well. I mean, I just got this off Amazon last night, but without this, I think I would have died. But dang, this works! Oh my gosh, this is such a workout! Perfect. Now I'm just gonna go over with the sharpie again, add in some details, add in places where I forgot here and there, just to clean up the lines. I'm going to be using this Japanese brush pen to fill in his hair. Let me test if this is gonna work. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Let me get something else. Let me try a Copic marker. Yes, this works so much better. I'm just gonna make some hair strokes and make it look like his hair is really shiny. You know, bad? Not bad. Even after drawing in this whole thing, this marker still has a lot of ink left. I'm impressed. Okay, next up, um, I'm going to go shopping. I will be right back. back. Let's finish up this wall. These are something that's called tones. This is basically like a sticker where you can stick it on. I've never done anything this big, so <laughs> fingers crossed.
long time and if you know me I post four to five videos on my first channel two videos for my second channel a week and then this is my third channel and yes I edit them too so doing all of these videos at once I am getting very very tired <laughs> so let's wrap this all up I got these sheets called sticker sheets they are basically transparent printable sticker sheets and I'm thinking of printing out the words and then sticking them on I'll be right back and I'm back. I went go looking for the perfect font and everything. I used up all my sheets, so if this doesn't work, <laughs> I'm going to cut it like so and stick it on. Okay, okay. After a long time, I mean a very long time, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> are you ready? god it took like it took a few days and i have to say i do like how it turned out i know it's not perfect i know it's not completely her style it's kind of like my style as well but still this is so epic don't you think so <laughs> oh i feel like crying it took a long time i was so tired oh my god oh, it was such a great challenge though oh, i don't even know why i'm crying Oh, and I'm not done yet. I am not done yet. Since this is my bedroom, I wanted to make it like a very Sailor Moon style bedroom. I also got this blanket. $20 or so on Amazon. It has Luna P. Luna P. And here are some little bunnies that she also has on her bed sheet. And I'm just gonna put this on my bed. And there you have it. A very Sailor Moon style bedroom. Please, please like this video and subscribe. And if you already do, I love you. But I do have a Japanese channel where I upload four to five videos a week. So please check me out there as well. I hope to see you guys again and see you next video. Bye!